Hi, I'm David Sickles with Fleet Equipment Magazine. Welcome to FE On The Road. The chemistry of today's extended life coolants is fairly complex, and you need to maintain the proper mix if you want to make the most of it. First and foremost, you want to keep the old style conventional silicate fully formulated coolants, the purple coolants, separated from the extended life coolants. If, for example, one of your techs decides to use one of these purple coolants to top off an extended life coolant, what they're really doing is diluting the effectiveness of each additive, which means you could end up in a situation where you don't have enough corrosion protection in the cooling system. Lubricant companies like Shell and Chevron recommend a coolant retains at least 75% of the company's additive technology to give your engines the protection they need. If your coolant dips below that, you should be taking corrective action to bring the additives back to normal levels. I recommend you have a discussion with your service provider as well as your drivers in regard to what type of coolant you use in your system. When you find out, send your drivers on the road with several gallons of that approved coolant. But how do you know what coolant is running in your system right now? Even if you think you know what coolant is being used in your engine system, the only way to know for sure is to test it for yourself. First, start with a visual inspection to check for leaks, as oil leaking into the coolant system or vice versa can cause serious damage to the engine and needs to be dealt with as quickly as you can. You can also use a test kit offered by different coolant brands, but just know that these kits are designed to detect one specific brand's chemical makeup. So using a shell test kit on a Chevron coolant won't lead to reliable results. You'll also want to test the freeze protection of your coolant using a coolant protection level tester. You might think this is a waste of time when it's hot out, but remember Murphy's Law. Testing the freeze protection of your coolant is just as important in July as it is in January, so you can ensure you get the freeze protection you need when the temperature does drop unexpectedly. Now, if you want to make a switch from the conventional coolant to an extended life coolant, that isn't too difficult, but you need to keep a close eye on the chemistry, since a simple coolant flush probably won't get all the coolant stuck in the nooks and crannies of the hose. Some companies offer concentrated doses of carboxylate and inhibitors that you can put into a coolant system to help with this. Just be sure to stick with your coolant brand of choice, as different inhibitors are designed to work specifically with that brand. For more trucking equipment content, head to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.